Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another Cricut project. So today I'm going to be sharing how to make this adorable bumblebee themed sign. I thought this would be really cute for spring. It says local honey. I've used uh, almost the same SVG. I've redesigned two parts of it, uh, the two inside parts for a big table that did it was super cute uh, last year, but I got these little silicone molds for bumblebees. I want to make some resin bumblebees. So I've designed a sign. I'm going to make a resin bumblebee and he is going to go right here on the signs for a little 3D shimmery bumblebee effect. I have a big bee as well. So I'm like, Maybe I need a big version of this sign. Maybe I just need a big B. I don't know. We're going to do the resin next week. I will leave the link for that video down below and then you can see him on the finished sign. But for today, we are just going to go ahead and do our sign. We're going to use our cut files um, and this is just vinyl. So we're going to do our vinyl sign, get them all ready for the resin next week. Of course, if you're not doing a resin B, I do have a cut file for a very similar little vinyl okay. B. So we can complete this sign in vinyl today if you would prefer. Either way, we are going to get started by opening Cricut Design Space and getting our little honeybee sign ready. Let's go. All right. So first things first in Cricut Design Space, you're going to select a new canvas. I already have my little uh, design set, so we're just going to grab that. If you need to upload yours, you'll come right down here to upload. And then upload your SVG by dragging it right to this upload image. But for this little guy, I've taken an SVG that I purchased and then uh, redesigned it in a way. I did this SVG on a large table um, with the original design and I loved it, but I want to be able to add a resin honeybee to this sign. And so I needed to change it around to work with that new element. So I will uh, leave the new uploaded uh, SVG friendly uh, version in the blog post. You can download it down below. I will also link to the original version if you would like to purchase that. It has a lot more detail. It's really pretty. Um, so it just depends on what you're working on. But for our purposes, I'm going to take this B. I'm going to turn it off so that our resin B can go right here. If you want to cut it with the honey bee, you can leave the B icon on. It is three layers, the back being the same black as our sign, and then a white layer and a yellow layer. So you'll have to layer those all together. It looks like they actually have the yellow as the back then a layer of white, and then the top layer is the black trim. So if you're cutting that out, that is the order you will layer those in. But for our purposes, the whole point of redoing this design is that I needed this space link for our uh, resin honeybee. So we want our entire sign to be about 10 and a half to 11 inches wide. Our actual sign is 12 inches and our honeybee, our resin honeybee, is uh, three and a half inches wide by three inches tall. So this honeybee is the same dimensions, which is why we can just swap those out. So we're going to go ahead and click make. And I am working with Smart Vinyl on my Maker 3. This entire project is less than 12 by 12, so you can cut it on a cutting mat if you are using your Maker or Explore Air 2. It's going to put this on our vinyl here. I'm going to hit continue, and now I need to plug in my machine. There we go. We're going to select Smart Vinyl Removable. That's what I have on hand. You can also use Permanent Vinyl and More Pressure. I always pick that as the default. It's just fine that it cuts better um, with my machine. So let's go ahead over to the Cricut and cut our materials. All right, so we've got our Smart Vinyl loaded in. We are going to push that vinyl all the way up to the wheels. 
I am always using my uh, roll holder. I cannot think of the word. Um, it is not necessary. You could easily not use it or just use a cutting mat. But if you're working with larger rolls, it just makes life so much simpler. I'm all about simple. We're going to load this in. It's going to measure how much vinyl we need for this project. It's basically making sure we still have enough vinyl left on our roll, which it's a large roll, so we do. And then we are going to click go and it is going to cut. We are going to slice this off, set this aside. There we go, local honey. Now we are going to go ahead and weed this design. Always fun, but we'll come in with our weeding tool and remove all the easy inside pieces first and then start on the outside, making sure to be extra careful around all the little letters and loops like with this heart. So give me a second and I will be right back with a fully weeded piece. Ta-da! So the entire sign is weeded. I'm going to go ahead and use some transfer tape to move it onto our sign blank now. Start at a corner. It's always the hardest part with transfer tape. Let's see if we can't get the whole top off. The second hardest part of transfer tape. I struggle with this so much. I feel like it's not that difficult. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna lay this down smoothly across the top. And then carefully smooth it down the rest of our design. And of course, you could cut this out in separate pieces so that you're not wasting the vinyl that's in this area. But I find when you're working with circular designs like this, it's easier just to just to kind of sacrifice the vinyl. Now, easier is not always the best. So, you know, you do what you want to do for you. Uh, I try to go for the easiest solution over the more vinyl saving solution in these specific instances. Let's scrape that all down. Flip it over, scrape it from the back. We did not get our transfer tape very smooth. There's a lot of ridges on the front, so it'll be fine, but it's a little frustrating. And now we will start to take it up. So let's flip it over and we will start to pull this back away from our transfer tape at an angle. And if at any point we see a uh, vinyl that's not, like right here, not stuck down, we'll just go over it with our scraper. So you just gotta go slow enough, kind of watch what you're doing. So 
that you don't accidentally leave something on here or even worse, rip your vinyl. Good so far. It's coming. Not as easy as it usually does, so just being a little fun. Sometimes it is. That's probably because I didn't get the vinyl or the transfer tape laid down as smooth as I should have. So, at the end of the day, it's usually my fault. Slow, especially over this little heart. So far, we're not having as many issues down here. Sometimes I find using the back of my weeding tool over the scraper works a little better. lets me have a bit more pressure if something's really not sticking. Dun, 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 dun. Now we just gotta put it on our sun. It's so good. <laughs> I know I'm weird. It's okay. All right, so our sign is just this round uh, wooden sign blank that I've painted white. I'm going to add our vinyl to it, making sure it is centered. It's always my hardest part, but we can do it. So be very, very careful and line it up. Once we put it down, it's in place. Uh, 
Looks good. So I'm going to start from the middle, smooth it out. Perfect. Now this is painted, so we're going to go very slow with removing our transfer tape. And we're not going to use our scraper, really. We're just going to use our finger to make sure all the vinyl is down. Because if we scrape too hard, we will start to remove uh, the paint from the surface. You do want to make sure you've painted your surface not like five minutes before you do this. I painted mine last night. I let it sit overnight. Dry to the touch paint and cured paint are two different things. So if you, you paint this and you don't let it dry long enough, you will definitely pull up all your paint with your transfer tape. Ask me how I know that. Perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. And this piece of transfer tape doesn't even have hardly any paint on it. We could use this again. Transfer tape works more than once. So from here, we will actually put our little resin B. So I've got to make him, but you can see I've got this mold for multiple resin Bs and one will fit perfectly right here. Or if I wanna make a giant sign, I can use this resin B. <laughs> Oh, I could make one of these to go on. I have more of these and just do one giant resin B next to this sign. Either way, if you want to see this finished design with the B, I will link that video down below and you can go check it out. I will show you how to pour the resin, how to put him on your sign, the whole nine yards. If you do not want to pour resin, now you can add your little vinyl B starting with the yellow. If you liked this video, make sure you are subscribed. I am always doing more Cricut resin projects. I have even more coming up next month and you will not want to miss those. Bye y'all.